Hey guys, and welcome to Hide in a Bush. I literally just got this Manticore. This is top of the tree right now, grinding through the LHM TV and the G Saw. The LHM TV was a bit of a nightmare. The G Saw was uh, was a little better and actually had quite some pleasurable games in it. And this is my first outing. I literally just got this about 30 minutes ago, and uh, I, I kitted it out, transferred my crew, and. Uh, threw them into this, threw some equipment on and went, let's see what we can do. So of course I pinged the map, this is where I'm going, try and communicate with my other light tank so he can do something more useful, and he goes, nah, I'm going where you're going. Okay. So already I'm spotting, I'm getting the spotting, um, he's running around. Quite a good player when I looked at XVM, but um, you know. We can't both go to the same place. It's one of the most annoying things, isn't it? At the beginning of a game, you try to communicate. Except you don't, do you? None of you do. I know none of you do. I think I'm the only person I know that's anal enough to use the ping command. But I think in a light tank, it's really important to say, hey, I'm going to go and spot this side. And then at least the other light tank can either say, okay, well, I'll spot in a different place. Or, fuck you, I'm going to spot the same place. But at least you give him a choice. I gave this guy a choice. And he said fuck you so he's running around he's been shot a few times and then um, i'm hiding in a bush because that's what this tank does it hides in a bush it's like an elc at uh, at tier 10. now i'm sure you can't play every battle hiding in a bush but for this battle i'm gonna hide in a bush and it's really difficult for me because i uh, I I can't play lights for the most part. I'm like that uh, that moth in uh, Bugs Life, going towards the blue light. I can't help it. It's so beautiful. And uh, yeah, so I'm sat here in a bush. You realise a theme in this battle. I once did a an SPG. Um, I think it was the SU fourteen one. And I think the title of that video is The Most Boring Replay in World of Tanks. Uh, this could possibly... <laughs> I don't want to put you off, guys, and make you go elsewhere, but... Uh, yeah, this, this, this could certainly rival that title. Of course, we've got 2,000, over 2,000 spotting so far. I only spotted, or only the first spot on two vehicles. But now they're all going to come in. And of course, our EBR... Um, but he's running around, lost his life, and now it's their turn for their EBR to run around. And he's got three marks on that barrel, so he knows, knows what he's doing. And I'm going to stay here, and currently I'm, I'm kind of feeling a little bit nervous. Uh, I know if I shoot, I'm dead. There are far too many tanks around me, so I'm going to stay in the bush. I'm going to stay hidden. I think I've got just over 50% camo here. You can see I'm using pudding and tea. Everyone likes a bit of pudding and tea. My uh, commander was from one of the Battle Pass events, I think. So she's about six skills, including, including uh, Zero Perk Brothers in Arms. And um, I threw a couple of books at them before we came in here just to, just to get those skills up. Because um, I had to rejig some. And I'm getting really nervous now because that TVP just went right next to my uh, proxy spotting distance. EBR's coming straight towards me now and I'm, 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 and he turned away. Can't believe they don't know I'm in this bush. All spotted. That's like seven tanks I'm lighting up at the moment. What are they shooting? Is there a bush there they're shooting or is he shooting? I think the I think maybe the Fosh or the E50 is shooting, um, shooting the little bush next to this bush line, and that was nice. The Jagdpanzer was yelling for help because he was going to get mugged by a TVP. Um, I actually took the TVP out. I see this grilly on on 20 points, and I'm like, I want to kill him. I want to kill him. But this Stritzvans literally, and he's rolling towards me. He's rolling towards me. I'm like. He's got to spot me any time. But as soon as I get spotted, I'm going to shoot the Grilly and run. Because the Grilly will one-shot me. Of course, at this point, I don't even know how much Alpha I have in the round. I thought it was around. I'm sure he drove into the circle then, didn't he? There you go, unspotted. 
Um, yeah, I think I've got a, I thought this time I had around 320, 340, 360 alpha. It turns out when I look at uh, Tanks GG, not Tanks GG, yeah, Tanks GG, um, it's actually 390 and it's 390 on both the uh, AP round and the APCR round, which is the uh, premium round on this tank. Um, around 248, 268, I think there's not a lot of difference between pe in penetration in those two rounds. And of course, you've got your, um, you got your, uh, your HE as well. Which I've not really looked into. What's that? I've actually got it up there. It's 480, 60 millimeter penetration. So there we are. We're just sitting in a bush. I just can't believe we had so. And here we go. This is the this is the Fosh B. The Fosh B taking a shot at me. Up over 5,000 spotting right now. No damage. It's not about damage, even though I have a damage mission right now. It's to come third. I ain't coming third on damage in this tank. Although, if you've watched the uh, the Char 75, you see I can come top in a light tank. There he goes. He finally finds me. He's been going along that bush line. But I, now I know he's empty, I can take a shot at the EBR. That Fosh B used his entire mag to find me, at which point he's dry. EBR tried to take a pot shot at me on the move. Um, and we won the city. I thought we were going to lose this battle. I thought once this field was taken and I was hiding in the bush, um, trying to be as effective as I can do, but shooting was not the thing I needed to do. I needed to spot. Um, and luckily our guys won the city and now they're coming back. There's some of them capping. I think capping's probably a worse at this point. And there's the Fosh and I'm going to try and track him. No, I'm not. I'm going to miss his track completely because of my rubbish aiming. Um, so I'm assuming he's dry now, and he, yeah, he must realise I'm a baboon because <laughs> he's he's doing the baboon salute. And I should I should focus the EBR at this point, but uh, but no. So I'm just going to run around the building. He's got pretty good traverse speed on that Fosh. I don't play that tank. I, I don't know whether it's just uh, field mods well well equipped. Uh, but I'm thinking he's on reload. He's. Uh, He's hoping I won't execute him. And he's actually turning faster than I can go around, so I actually stop and put a round into him. So there you go, guys. Hide in a bush, Sheridan. That's fantastic. Um, not Sheridan. It's not a Sheridan, is it? It's a Manticore. Of course, the Sheridan is the, the American. So pretty good for my first battle. It was uh, only a second class, but we got the, uh, the Scout emblem there the medal whatever it is i don't know six thousand spotting and just over a thousand damage i'm sure i can do more damage uh, but probably at the expense of spotting not a bad map for this tank really second on the team um with the xp we got from the spotting um fired four penetrated three i think it's just the one we bounced on that fosh but anyway guys as far as hiding in a bush goes this is the tank to do it in, isn't it? This is why I put up with the LHMTV and the setter before that, and um, and the, uh, the 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 G soil light tank, which, like I say, it wasn't too bad. It really drove me crazy today trying to grind it. I think I lost eight battles on a roll, um, but uh, but we got the Manticore. So that was what it was about today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like, subscribe, all that other nonsense, um, or not, and uh, hopefully see you next time. Thanks for hanging in, guys. Take it easy now. Bye.